I'm a Christian because of what happened in my heart, not what happened to my hair. The Lord didn't come to change my shirt. He came to change my life. And he did that. He did that because I accepted him as my personal Savior. Because in a mob closet at 11.30 at night, on the 22nd of August, in boot camp in San Diego, California, in 1966, I prayed this simple prayer. Lord, I don't know if you can love a Satanist, but if you can, I'm asking you to do something with me. And 22 years ago, the Lord answered my prayer, and I've never been sorry that I prayed it. And I'm a Christian, whether you like it or not. So, go ahead and think of me as Brother Mike. It'll be okay. But you see, it gets weirder than that, because I was ordained in 1975, so for the past 13 years, I have been a card-carrying, credentials-holding minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Think upon it. <laughs> Meditate upon the ramifications of such a thing. <laughs> Let it twist your transistors and roast your rheostat. It's not Brother Mike. It's Reverend Warnke. <laughs> Freak you out yet? <laughs> hey, look. I am a college graduate. I am seminary trained. I have two bachelor's degrees. I have two master's degrees and a doctorate in divinity from Antioch University. If you're having trouble with Brother Reverend, just think of me as Dr. Mike. <laughs> Nothing is hardly ever what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can wrap up gold in burlap, and it's still going to be gold. Do you guys get what I'm trying to say? I'm not trying to brag. It's just the facts, see? Well, I don't care. I've heard you talk about that one daughter of yours, and she's sitting right there. She made me promise not to make her stand up or indicate her presence in any way and embarrass her in front of all these people. And of course, I promised her that I wouldn't, but I lied. <laughs> Did you get that on? <laughs> anyway. I've heard you mention that one kid, but sometimes one kid's not enough. If you had a whole bunch of kids, it'd give you a sense of responsibility, brother. If you had more than one child, if you had maybe two, maybe three, you'd be a responsible human being then. Nothing like a few kids to give a guy a sense of responsibility. If you had children, you would probably wear decent clothes, get a haircut, and let the holes in your earlobes heal up. <laughs> if you had children and understand, understood responsibility a little better, you wouldn't come out here and be the kind of example to our kids that you are. If I wanted my kids to see somebody that looked like you, well, then I would take them to a rock and roll show. That means you ain't been to a rock and roll show lately. I may have the hair, but I ain't got the spandex. You know what I mean? You know what I'd look like in a pair of spandex pants? I'd look like a hippo in pantyhose, man. <laughs> Thinking about it makes me itch all over. <laughs> Oh, man, you talk about cutting off your life. But anyway, I have six children. I have a 26-year-old daughter, 24-year-old daughter, 23-year-old daughter, 18-year-old son, 16-year-old daughter, 14-year-old son. And it hadn't helped a bit. Those of you that are having trouble with Brother Reverend Doctor, just think of me as dad. <laughs> it's not hard for her. She's had a little experience. We're just blowing it on you tonight. <laughs> think about Christmas with me. <laughs> think about sitting across the table eating turkey with a turkey. <laughs> so for those of you having trouble with Brother Reverend Dr. Dad, Think of me as Grandpa. <laughs> you gray-headed saints that have been sitting out there all night thinking, my God, where did he come from? <laughs> I'm one of you. 